Hey guys, this is Cesar Gutierrez with Keller Williams Laredo. Today is day seven of the 75 day challenge. And today we're gonna go over uh, important things that you need uh, to have a successful open house. Uh, we'll start with social media, having um, creating social posts and also creating a landing page to be able to capture the leads that go in uh, into your open house. Okay, so we're gonna go into designs to start. And again, if this is your first time ever using designs, you're not gonna have any uh, anything here. So you're gonna click on the plus sign at the bottom right. And you're gonna click on social. And click next. Once you're here and your uh, command designs, you're gonna go over to listings and open house. Here on your open house, you're gonna have the social wide, which is your typical Facebook post. Um, it does fit on Instagram as well. This is your typical Instagram post um, and it also fits on your Facebook. And then this is for your social stories. Um, I recommend you do both uh, on your personal, I'm sorry, on your business, regular posts and also on your stories. Okay, uh, me personally, I like the wide just because most of the pictures that we take, uh, they are a bit wider. So that way we can capture that entire, that entire picture. And again, here, what you wanna do is make sure you choose something that um, you're gonna be using a lot. Uh, what I mean by that is be consistent with your Facebook uh, marketing. So if this, is gonna, if this is gonna be the style that you're gonna use for your open houses, stick to this template and always use it for your open houses, okay? So I'm going to try something different and use this one just so I can showcase uh, a bit more of the property. Because this one actually has four pictures. So here it's see it to believe it. Obviously, you can change it to have something else. Um, so the first thing you want to do is change the pictures. You're going to go into KWLS. And this is a good thing that I really like about using designs is that I don't have to download the pictures from the MLS. Uh, and here I'm going to use this property. So the way to switch them, the way you want, uh, the way you do it to, to switch them is you click on the picture you want to switch and use this replace image button. So you'll replace it, then choose another picture. I'll go with this one, choose another picture, we'll go with this one, and then for the last one, we'll go with the backyard. And you can double click on it so you can bring it down a bit so, you, so that way you can fix it if you need to move it for some reason. Okay. This one you want to change to your KW logo. And here you can leave it as see it to believe it. Or you can change it to open house. Okay. So you can put open and change it to be centered. Which is right here. And then change this text to house. So on your actual post, you that's where you'll do the, the changes to um, or adding the details of your open house. Okay. So make sure you center this as well. Open house. Okay. So then here, what you wanna do is uh, save it, download as a JPEG, and you wanna high quality and start download. 
So one of uh, one important thing to do, so that way you're not having to switch out the logo every single time. Once you finish this, click on on done, or you can change a uh, make sure to change the name to open house template. Okay, so when you click done, it's gonna come up on your actual designs that you've worked on. So now every single time that I want to make um, a flyer for open, uh, an open house, I can just go back here and just change out the pictures and that's it. Okay. So now what we want to do is create another one social. We're going to go back to listings and open house and we're going to click on social stories. So you can also use this. Okay, so here, since the pictures are gonna be vertical, this might not be the template you wanna use just because it's not gonna capture everything on that picture. However, uh, on Instagram, they do have other templates that have them sideways. Uh, okay, so we can go over exploring that option. Um, Another one would be this one. This one is really nice as far as the way it looks on uh, social media, on the stories. And it's very similar to this one, okay? So we'll use this one. And again, uh, what we'll do is go to the KWLS, search the property, select it. and swap it out and then here we can add the backyard swap it out and move it down it's not gonna let me move it down just because it is the whole square here so if this ever happens just make sure you can click on it and add a different picture okay or this one Okay, so from those two or those three pictures, uh, the one I like the most is probably this one. And then here again, what you can do is add open house. Open house. Click outside, click on the middle and center it. There we go. And here we can also name it open house template stories, download it, start download, and you're finished. Okay, so once you have that, you can consistently be sharing it every day. Just, uh, you know, if you do it a week before, start sharing it every single day with the details. That way people start seeing it. Hey, you know what? There's going to be an open house this weekend. Create that hype. And one last thing that you want to do is also create a landing page. Uh, the landing page, you want it so that people, when they go to your open house, they can actually uh, sign in. And once they sign in, it's going to go automatically to the a two-year command okay so we're going to click on create a site it's going to obviously be a consumer create a site and it's going to be as a standalone page here you want to put open house uber street and then start going here. You can do the branded header and the lead form. Okay, so these are the, the two things that you need um, in order for them to get, you know, for you to get their information. Uh, you can also put the listing in case they wanna scroll down and kind of see it. They're already gonna be there, so you don't really need it. This is what you really, really need just so they can be able to log in 
and submit their information. Okay, configure widgets, branded header. You can put the address, save and apply. You go to the next one. Uh, interested, let's talk since this, this is an open house, you just need to put, uh, please fill out this form. Or put, thank you for coming to our open house. Save and apply. Okay, and then lastly, uh, you're gonna click for the the listing in case they just wanna see some pictures or just so you can have some more content on there. Uh, select the listing, save and apply. You're good to go. Uh, you're gonna publish page. Yes. And then you're gonna to wanna to click on the three dots, change URL, just put uh, without any spaces, open house 1127 Huber Street, create. So now every time you have an open house for this particular listing, uh, what you'll do is you'll take a laptop or an iPad and have this open. So whenever any people go in there, uh, you'll have them sign in. And that way you, you can always keep track of who went to your open house and you have their information. Uh, Cause it does happen where you have sign in with a paper and you lose it and you lost all those potential people that um, went to your open house. Okay, so this is very important to have. And again, make sure you're always consistent with your social posts and also try to prepare at least a week in advance. That way you can have a very successful open house. Guys, thank you again for joining and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.